you know, I got 98% of what I wanted. I'm pretty happy. Nearly $2 billion in federal funding is being trimmed from public schools across the country, part of the budget sequester that went into effect a month ago. As Ben Tracy tells us tonight, schools in military communities are being hit especially hard. What did your dad tell you before he left? That he loves me. And that's mostly what he could say. And that he hoped he would be back. Tiffany Cook's father, Colonel Brian Cook, is on his way to Afghanistan. It's his fifth overseas deployment with the Army since 2004. What's the hardest part about seeing him leave? Just worrying about him, worrying that he might not come home. Cook is a sophomore at Silver Valley High School in Yermo, California, near Fort Irwin National Training Center. How do you feel about this? It's a scary feeling. She's worried that her school counselor will lose her job due to budget cuts. Cook will visit her once a week while her dad is deployed. They're going to see all these kids that are going through so much and they don't have anyone to talk to. How many students do you have in your district? Approximately 2,500. And how many of those are from military families? 61% of our students are military dependents. Superintendent Mark Jackson says schools near military bases survive on something called impact aid. Impact aid is the government's way of saying they know we can't tax the base. The military has put Fort Irwin in the middle of our district, so you can't tax a federal property. To make up for the loss of property taxes, $1.2 billion is paid out annually to 1,400 school districts nationwide near military bases and Indian reservations. The sequester cut $60 million of that funding in addition to the cuts affecting every school in the country. So then these cuts are hitting you harder? Really hard. It's a half million dollar hit for Jackson School District. He says he may need to cut bus transportation, teacher training, and those school counselors. He should have excellent schools for our military that's done so much for us. And to just cut them is just callous. Tiffany Cook has much more on her mind than her school's budget. I wish she was here. I just wish she didn't leave. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Yermo, California.